welcome to today's session so today we are looking at the 2021 grade 12 gce mathematics paper one so if you look at the the the, the instruction the instruction clearly states that uh, one we need to show all essential workings so it says omission of essential workings result in the loss of marks so let us embark on this journey where I will, we will be explaining in detail on how to answer each and every question so that you get the maximum possible marks. Question 1. Question 1 leads simplify 2ab minus ab square minus 7ab plus a square b plus 5a b square okay so we have basically 2a b minus a b square then minus 7 a b then plus a square b plus 5 a b square so what you are being tested here or assessed on is your ability to identify what is alike and apply addition and subtraction so what you can see from here is what you can see from here is we have 2ab 2ab which is this one and negative 7ab so those are common they are like then we have got this ab square a multiplied by b square and 5ab square so you notice that these are the same so these are like so you need to collect these and apply an operation which is addition and the uh, subtraction so we have 2 ab and what is alike here which is minus 7 ab now remember what is key is is when you are getting this number so this is negative so it's this number get entire with a negative the problem people will leave that negative and get a plus then you mess up everything then we come to the second thing which is plus in this case i'm going to have a plus this one which is alone okay then we have a square b then we come now we come to which one we come to this one and this one which is plus 5a b square minus if in this negative you get it with that one minus a b square then in that case you work on this so if you simplify this part we are getting basically minus 5ab then plus a square b then this will give you uh basically 4ab square okay 4ab square then just to make it look better so this positive goes in front so we have a square b minus 5ab plus 4a b square like in this so when you do it like this you would have simplified this one so you come across a question like simplify evaluate they mean the same or complete they all mean complete okay so that's how you answer this question which is question a so let us go to b so b leads evaluate so evaluate simplify complete they mean the same thing so in this case we have basically nine the power of multiplied by one so what we need to know is uh if you have a to the power one over n what this tells you is basically equal to the nth root of a so we are finding the nth root of a so in this case is the root which is the second root which is square root so the second root is basically just the normal square root so if it was a three there it was going to be Cube, cube root so it's a square root of 9 9 plus a 1 so square root of 9 is basically 3 plus 1 is 4 square root of 9 you're saying i mean which number can you multiply yourself twice to get a 9 so that's a 3 so that's how we are getting a 4 there okay so let us move to number 3 number 3 uh, leads x square minus 2 x equals zero so we solve this equation so what we do is basically this is a cubic root or a quadratic sorry quadratic so we take out x 
So x into x is x, x into 2 into negative 2x is t, neg negative 2 equals to 0. So what it means here in this case is either x is equal to 0 or this part is equal to 0, which is x minus 2 is equal to 0. Because 0 times anything is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. Okay. So what we have is x is equal to, then when this one crosses the equal sign, it becomes a positive, is equal to 2. So we have two values. Okay. So in this case, we have two values. x is equal to either 0 or is equal to 2. So these are the values of x. So basically, this is how you answer the first uh, three questions in this paper. Thank you very much.